work. So would you please speak a uh, relatively slow uh, because of the uh, there are some the bad effect of the uh, noisy online. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so if you speak slowly, we can catch perfectly what you share. Okay. Thank you yes. so much. Yeah. Uh, by the way, what's the temperature in the Phnom Penh today? Um, the temperature right now is 27 degrees. 27? Wow. Yes. Much cooler than Japan. <laughs> Just because it is rainy season right now. In the day, uh, we are nearly uh, 40 degrees Celsius in Japan. Oh, Much so hot. hotter than Japan. Uh, uh, Miss Jay, in Korea, also the same, 40 degrees Celsius in a day? Uh, in Korea, is now on maybe not 40, but 33 or 34. Uh, okay, very same as Japan. Thank you so much. And also the today, uh, just a second, I'll check the oh. yes, uh, uh, Alex, Daniel, and uh, is this the first time to meet you? Yes. Um. Good morning to everyone. I yeah. am Alexis. You can call me Alex. Alex, so yes. that it's short, yes. Uh, which, which university are you from? Um, from the University of the Philippines. Yeah. Yeah. Alex, thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, what's the temperature in the Philippines? Um, I think it's a similar um to Phnom Penh, it's like around 29 right now wow much yeah. cooler than japan yeah yeah so thank you so much uh may i have uh what what are you major measuring what? i am major in community development community development yeah yes. thank you so much yeah have you been to japan before uh yes for um tourism tourism yeah. yeah which area have you been um i've been to tokyo osaka hakone hakone yes. okay thanks so much so your english is very easy to follow up yeah do you have a s experience conversation with japanese student before um no but I've been with other foreign students in ah. our school before. Ah, that's why you pay attention. So speech, speed to get yeah. your better understanding from the, your counterpart. Right? Yes. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks so much for joining today. Thanks so much. Yeah. And uh, thanks so much. Is there any person who joined the seminar uh, at at the first time. Uh, today, do, have you ever heard about that? JART. JART is uh, and the uh, uh, Japanese uh, language proficiency test. Uh, today, most of my students are uh, challenging that, that test. Uh, so the I'm I'm sorry they are absent, but they enjoy the uh, video clip, uh, recorded video later, and they start uh, keep the connection with you. Okay. And uh, Kevin? Hello. Ah, good morning. Good morning. Sorry. And, uh, yeah. So on behalf yeah. of the students of Nihon Fukushi University, would you please say hello to the student from RUPP and other students, please? Okay. Hello, my name is Okara Kevin. I'm from Nihon Fukushi University. And we are 
please to make some progress in this meeting. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Kevin, may I have your nationality? Oh, I'm, I'm from Indonesia. Indonesia. Can you yeah. speak Japanese? Oh, I can. Yeah. Okay, very good. <laughs> and Indonesia and uh, English. English. Yeah. What's your first language? Indonesia. What's what's come second? English, I suppose. English? Okay, South Japanese. Okay, very yeah. very very good uh, target for this uh, international event. Thank you. All right. So the uh, we are professors at Nihon Fukushi University who work uh, and with you. Thanks so much. Uh, firstly, today's agenda you can see, uh, and uh, oh, you already get enough ability to handle uh, world youth meeting uh, presentation. You have you have been accumulate the. The uh, presentation in English uh, studies, but what use meeting in very specific mm -hmm. occasions. So, uh, firstly, uh, Professor Gary, uh, Gary is a professional or uh, as a Tesu, Tesu, and uh, uh, explain uh, how to, and suggest how to make the effective presentation uh, on the World Youth Meeting occasion. Gary, would you please start? Thanks for joining on Sundays. <laughs> Sorry, ask you on Sundays. Yeah. Good morning. No problem. The house, the house is very quiet. All of my family have gone out to cram schools or, or uh, such things today. So it's a good time. So let me just share here. Okay, and we'll start with this one. Oh, good too. Okay. So again, this is a very, very simplistic, uh, just a bit of a graphic to show you um, how we'd like uh, you to think about uh, your uh, presentation. Uh, so in the middle, we have the core message. So that would be the basic uh, theme that you and your partners have decided to present on. And then going out from there, uh, we want you to think clearly and carefully about uh, things that you want us, the audience, to know about uh, your theme, whatever facts and data and research that you have done. Uh, you can start to introduce them here. And again, because the the audience that will be listening to your presentation, we're going to have a real variety of English levels. So I we really uh, want to encourage you to carefully think about how to communicate, not just in your spoken English, but also uh, the kind of information that you can give the audience visually from the slides that you will be preparing uh, to go along with the oral presentation. So starting with uh, things that you want us to know about your theme, if possible, trying to use some impact images. And by image, I don't just mean a, a photograph, but it could include things like simple graphs uh, or some kind of uh, GIFs and so on that are directly tied to uh, what you are talking about. So for each slide, we recommend uh, only one or two impact images and very important keywords. Uh, as I said, uh, we are going to have uh, Japanese high school students uh, some of their levels in English is going to be a little on the lower side. So please choose the words very carefully and also how quickly you speak. The most important words, try to put them 
as keywords on your slides. Moving on to the second point, again, you should be thinking about the logical uh, construction of your argument. So then you would go on to is issues related to your argument. Uh, and again, some images and keywords. And then going on to the final point, which is number three. And that this is where you can get creative. You can use your imagination. Um, some possible solutions or ideas that you would have uh, related to uh, your overall theme. Then we go on to, so again, this is just a sort of a restatement, uh, just following through from the facts that you should know and what you want us to know, moving on to issues that are occurring. Uh, so going from a kind of a wider audience, a wider perspective, focusing down to the, the third one, which is your own ideas and possible solutions. And um, then I want to go on to just very quickly, uh, what should you be doing now? Well, um, the, as we know, the theme of the World Youth Meeting, Peace and SDGs, um, what you should be doing now is brainstorming some general ideas related to the theme, doing some research, find out what other people are saying online uh, about what you are uh, thinking about. Always, of course, make notes and make a note of where you find that information, okay? Uh, we want to have a good reference section at the end of your presentation so that if we want, we can follow up with your argument and your ideas. Before you're going to meet with your partners uh, online, make sure that you prepare your ideas and notes to share with your partners. Be prepared to discuss your ideas from everyone and prepare yourself. Now, again, everyone has very different levels of uh, communicative competence, your ability in English. So if you need to, practice speaking. Write down some questions you might want to ask um, in a variety of different levels. Prepare to introduce yourself for the first meeting, okay? So that's the very basic. Um, now let me go on to one other thing. I will show you an example of a really good presentation that we've had in the past. And are they, no, no, no. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? Hang on. Da, 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 da. And oh. um, I don't want to share multiple windows. I want to share just this one. Okay. And share sound is okay. okay. So, Lita, I'll ask you, uh, what did you learn from the Gary lecture? Okay, please. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to memorize that, yeah. All right, let me try this. Okay, let me share this one, I think. Uh, why does it keep sharing the wrong one? Uh, 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 uh. Ah, da, 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 da. Close that window. I don't want it to share that window. Hang on. No, it doesn't want to. It doesn't want to let me share the uh, window. Uh, sorry about that. And let me try again. What in that? Okay, okay. Share, share, share. Right, one more time. I'm going to give it one more time, one more try, one more try. Okay, please, please. Uh. <laughs> one more try and share. Okay, there we go. Okay, All right. right. Thank you. All right. So this is uh, just an example of a presentation that was given by um, University of the City of Manila and Nihon Fukushima University. 
as you can see, they have a very dynamic, bright uh, theme. Uh, the title is Yummy, Cute, and Lovely Conversation. What's happening with the SDGs? So from the very first slide, we're, we get a strong sense of um, some entertainment value uh, that we are going to get from this presentation. Um, it's a little unclear what exactly is the theme, uh, but once they get started, that will become a little more clear. So they start with a question. Uh, always a very good interactive technique to use uh, by asking a question to your audience. You're engaging them, making them think about uh, their experiences. They're creating a link between the presentation and the audience, which is very good. And of course, it's a very simple one that I think most people can answer yes or no. Have you eaten Filipino bananas? Okay. Um, we then go on to, uh, we have a bit of a video that talks about basically the, the process of harvesting bananas. They show us a bit of a video. Okay, and their video just shows a, a very small step uh, in the harvesting of bananas, but I think it emphasizes the, the hard work that is related to something that we take for granted, eating bananas from the local store. So then they challenge us uh, and say that, you know, here's a, an important message, you know, buying something cheaply is great, but uh, having a fair salary for the workers who work very hard is also essential. Then they go on to talk about a Japanese brand, Uniqlo, uh, uh, which most of us have some ish, uh, experience with. They tell us a little bit about one of the issues, of course. This is a capitalism 101, right? They sell shirts for 2,000 yen, but workers themselves, the people who actually produce uh, the valued item, only receive about 50 yen in terms of work. Uh, and it makes us think about uh, this very uh, basic idea. So... Um, ma, their suggestion is, of course, they want to increase uh, salaries. There should be better money uh, going back to the people who are actually doing the work, not just uh, the owners of the companies and so on. So again, this is a very basic, very simple uh, presentation, but it really engages with the audience. It gets you interested and it gets you involved in the presentation. And this is a, a really good way that uh, you also uh, should try to emulate, copy, show us in your own presentation. Make it simple, make it strong, and let us follow along very quickly. All right. Their suggestion then is to have an action plan whereby they put tags on uh, clothes and products that show us that it uh, is SDG supported and approved. So it's a very simple step, uh, but one that uh, I think that all of us would be able to get behind. All right, so that is uh, just one example of many great presentations, uh, and I'm looking forward to uh, seeing what you and your partners uh, come up with. So again, last comment, when you are preparing your presentation, first and foremost in your thoughts should be your audience. Uh, thinking about their levels, thinking about uh, their knowledge, what you want them to learn and to take away from your presentation. Keep that in the front of your mind as you are preparing your presentation. And then I'm sure you will have a, a wonderful and successful presentation that can be enjoyed and most importantly, understood by students from multiple countries and with multiple English levels. All right. Well, thank you very much for listening to this very brief uh, summary. Uh, thank you. And I look forward uh, to hearing from you and seeing what wonderful presentations you have for us. Thank you. Okay, thanks so much. And uh, Alexia, uh, do you have, uh, what kind of the impact do you have? Mm, for me, 
Um, thank you, um, Professor Gary, for the presentation. It was insightful. I think, uh, for me, what I learned was it's um important to be simple and straight to the point with our presentations. So we don't need to have a lot of words, um, because a few words can already get the point across. Okay, thanks so much. Yeah, I could learn from your comments. Thanks so much. Yeah. And Sanj uh, Lim. Sanj Lim, yeah. Wearing glass, yeah, you. May I have your some. Okay, <laughs> disappear. Sanj. May I have your opinion or your feedback? Uh Obviously, like Gary, Gary is like very inspirational for me for doing presentations and all. So for about today's from the thing that I've been inspired from today's presentation that have been done by Mr. Gary is that to keep the presentation simple but concise, like like what we have been trying to share. The message that should be very clear to the audience. So while making the presentations, like we should keep it simple but very understandable. So that's what I've done. Thanks so much. And uh, uh, Pakatan, uh, yeah, you are from the uh, Philippines. How uh, do you feel uh, the presentation that talk about the Philippines? Um, I really enjoyed the presentation that was shared earlier, and I I really liked how um it was emphasized that we should uh, adjust our speaking levels because we want the audience to understand us so that we can uh properly uh convey and communicate our message. Yeah, thanks so much. And your presentation time, group presentation type time is uh, five to seven minutes, very short. Five to se seven, very short. After a presentation, you are uh, invited to the discussion three minutes, very short. So the thinking about the presentation time, your part will be the only uh, three minutes. Japanese partner only have only two minutes or three minutes. It looks like your presentation should be the simple, simple and uh, interesting and using the impact image. Very look like a commercial, commercial. Okay. What message can you leave? It's very important. What message can you leave? Okay. Uh, such a power to make a concise uh, statement is uh, uh, really work uh, for your future activity. Okay, please train yourself. Uh, okay, I hope uh, you will be the very good uh, speaker in the field of the international uh, business or education or volunteer. Thank you so much, yeah. And ma'am? Uh, from RUPP, uh, do you have any comment or uh, feedback about uh, Gary's comment? Um, actually, um, it's it actually like inspires me too. It's it's very well done because back in my uh back in my university in like in Cambodia, usually for our presentation, people like. Uh, students do not usually include picture. They usually include a lot of like a lot of their script in the slide, like a lot of letters. And um, for Professor Gary's presentation here, he told us to put like picture and tell story to engage with the audience. So this actually helped me, and um, I actually um learned from that too. Okay, thanks so much. You really hit the spot, yeah. 
the, the your Cambodian presentation style is strongly rely on the academic presentation. That we, when you yeah. join the, some academic uh, conference, uh, you, you will do the uh, first uh, agenda and second uh, example, the differing the lot of the text base uh, uh, slide. Yeah. Okay. It's also a, a very effective way, but the word use meeting presentation is another way to share the emotion and a step forward together. Okay. Thanks so much. And presentation time is five to seven. Please uh, memorize that. Thanks so much. And uh, chair of the uh, World Use Meeting uh, this year, Dr. Sato. Dr. Sato is a very famous professor in Asia, uh, China, and uh, uh, of course, been to uh, United States and uh, some other, uh, Cambodia, of course, uh, Philippines, uh, to uh, escort the students to UP. Yeah. And also, so today we have uh, a lecture from the Dr. Sato, how to collaborate with Japanese students, how to collaborate with other countries' uh, students. It's a specific way to uh, collaborate, to collaborate effectively. The, from the viewpoint of the very famous theory, uh, Dr. Sato will talk about that. Please enjoy. Dr. Sato, please. But, sorry, I, I didn't expect that. Oh, really? <laughs> so, it, did I hear about it? Yeah. It, uh, I heard it for the first time. So. Communi so. Communication of inquiry. I asked. Okay. So, oh, really? I, I missed to read that email. <laughs> oh, you can, you can. So, so, really? Okay, and do you have some graph of that? What What's graph? I, I have no uh, idea. So, sorry, but uh, anyway, before continuing, new member joined. So, right. yeah, I want to, uh, yeah, make them introduce. So, yeah. Bella, uh, not students, the participants from Cambodia, Chan Seha. Oh, okay, okay. Okay. And so, also participants from Shilai Institute from the Philippines. Okay, may I have a few words from them? Uh, would you please play a role of the MC or fire? I'll, uh, I'll give you the, some the, uh, data about the uh, uh, communication of inquiry. Yeah. Okay, please. Uh, Sasan, would you please invite them? Ah, so then if, if you proceed, I will prepare the uh, slide oh. of committee of inquiry yeah. Uh, while yeah, you are enjoying communication. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay. So this kind of the uh, unprepared situation we can do immediately. Why? In our head, always keep how to make a good collaboration. So Dr. Sato will prepare in a few uh, minutes. Yeah. Okay. And Chan Seha, hello. Yeah. Hello, Professor. Uh, uh, which city are you now? Oh, I'm in Sim <laughs> Same leap. Yeah. Yeah. I know, but other students know about same leap. Uh, tell me about the same leap. Um, same leap is a pretty famous uh, city in Cambodia. We have a lot of temple, and especially an amazing temple is Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat. Angkor Wat is yeah. one of the world heritage, right? Yes. Are you a professor or a teacher? Uh, I am a teacher. I teach at elementary school. Yeah. Uh, the, when did you uh, get the teacher license? Two years ago? I got, 
Yeah, two years ago, 2022. Mm. Okay, so the your English is very good. How do you get the English uh, conversation skill, ability? Oh, uh, thank you, Professor. Uh, so I study in Panyasa University for uh -huh. uh, two years, and I got the diploma from uh, from that university too. Oh, so that means that after graduates or uh, two year teachers training center, after that you go to the uh, Panyasastra University to study English, right? Uh, actually, I study while I'm also in the teacher training college. Ah, in the teacher training college. So teachers in Cambodia can speak all teacher in Cambodia at the primary level can speak English like you? Uh, not all, but uh, mostly we try. Right? Uh, we, we can't understand, but speak is like low, not very good. Oh, okay. Thanks so much. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, it is first time to visit Japan? Yes, it's very first time. Okay, very good. Yeah. Did you already get the visa to come to Japan? Uh, not yet, but we apply. We already apply. You already apply? Yes. So that means in a week, you will get, in a week, you will get the visa to Japan? Hello? Oh. So in a week, you can get the, in a one week, you can get the visa. To yeah. Japan. Oh, very good. Yeah, because of the now uh we are trying so hard to help the Syrian delegate to get the visa. So it's very difficult uh from the Syria. Yeah. That's why, yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh from the Shilai University. Shilai, hello. Not the Kimizuka san, Shilai Shilai. <laughs> Uh, Kimizuka san, would you please introduce Shirai? Uh, maybe there is uh, one power teacher there. Uh, her name is uh, Tricia, I think. Uh, maybe he connected to uh, by uh, cell phone. Uh, maybe my name is I... Hello. Hello, so sir. Uh, okay. I am Tricia Maitelhata, yes, from Silai Institute. And I am sorry that I was able to attend the meeting late due to a very low connection. Oh, okay, okay. So, which island are you living? I am from Negros Island, sir. Uh, Negros, Negros Occidental. We only know the Manila. So, your area is far from the Manila? Yes, I am far from that. I am actually from Silay City, Negros Occidental, and it is actually known as the Little Paris of Negros, sir. Ah, sorry, the, I'm now studying English conversation. Would you please speak a little bit slowly for me? I'm sorry. I'm sorry for that. So I live in uh, Silay City, Negros Occidental, and yes. actually it is known as the Little Paris of Negros, sir. Uh, Negros, yeah. Uh, yes. What kind of the vegetable, what kind of industry do you have in Negros? There are actually a lot of industries here and the very uh, common source of income here in the Philippines is um, sugar cane. Sugar cane. Yes. Sugar cane yes. is a kind of sugar, right? Yes, sir. Sugar cane is uh, very look like a... a yes. Bamboo, okay? Bamboo. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We have ah. a lot of here. Okay. Sugar cane is the... Uh, how to say in Japanese? Sugar cane is sugar cane. Okay. That means that your area producer good sugar from the sugar cane? Okay. Thanks so much. For, Thank you, Are you sir. going to come to Japan? Yes, it is actually my first time, sir, oh, okay. going to Japan. Okay, very good. Thanks so much. Yeah. Shirai, Shirai Institute, yes. you come to the, uh, Japan with uh, high school students also, 
right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. It is actually the seventh time that Sila Institute will be bringing students there in Japan. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Is there any uh, guest from the Sila today? No? Only you? Yes, sir. I guess they are actually uh, having difficulty in their connections. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now, what kind of the equipment you are using? The smartphone? I am actually using my phone, sir. A phone? Yeah. Yes. But, uh, it is very good, sir. Uh, such a uh, uh, cell phone. IPS. Uh, very famous. Yeah. Smart or uh, very good quality. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for joining today. Yeah, thanks so much. Yes. Uh, okay. And uh, Dr. Sato, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready for just a brief explanation about community of inquiry. And also, I want to briefly introduce the <laughs> Education 2030. Yeah. The Education 2030 is really famous, so uh, some of you may already know that uh, I'd like to briefly confirm with you. Yeah. And uh, would you please focus on the when they proceed with the collaboration? So what's the most important thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I, I also talk about a bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Three. Professor Kageto will also support about the uh, 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 essence of you, the explanation. Please. Okay. Please. Would you please start? Yeah. Ah, yes. Can you see the screen? Yeah, uh, clearly. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, I I copy and paste it briefly, so I don't have the reference on the slide. But if you search by the keyword here, the COI or Community of Inquiry, you can find the explanation soon. So, yeah, in the uh, framework of Community of Inquiry, they say three presences are really important to collaborate, especially in, in on online. And uh, yeah, one is as you can see, social presence. There are some explanations about social presence, but if I briefly say, uh, it's to be friendly, to become in a good relationship with your uh, partners or collaborators. So it's important for the good collaboration or the, to work together to pursue something with your teammates. And the second one is cognitive presence. And yeah, it also has explanation, but the, mm, Again, if I briefly say, to have common, definite goals uh, with your team. So, yeah, in the World Youth Meeting, you have a definite goal to make a collaborative presentation based on the theme of the World Youth Meeting. So, yeah, it, it's no problem for cognitive presence this time. And third one is teaching presence. Uh, yeah, it's uh, the, as you can see, setting curriculum or sharing personal meetings or focusing discussions. So, yes, setting. It, this time it's not the, how can I say, for you, your university's curriculum, but uh, setting the place, setting the opportunity of the World Youth Meeting uh, is related to this teaching presence. Yeah, uh, in this meeting, Professor Kageto coordinated this kind of place and Gary gave a uh, very nice, gave us nice tips for very important tips for our presentations. So, yeah, these three presences should be combined, com combined for the, uh, for our better line. Is it okay? Okay, okay, we can understand. So the uh, I have a one question for better understanding uh, for me and the students here. 
Uh, I'd like to ask, so when they do their uh, some negotiation or uh, collaboration to uh, make the presentation story or presentation uh, picture, talking about the impact picture, maybe a cognitive presence, it works very well. Mm. So the uh, up to today, uh, some group, successful group, already use while showing the PowerPoint they discuss, not only talking. So uh, Gary, today Gary gave us a very good uh, sample to talk. So the uh, our study uh, last uh, 25 years, the successful mm -hmm. group always use uh, the, how to choose is very important. Which is better for you, this uh, slide or uh, or this slide? Uh, such a, a choice, uh, the way to choose is very effective when they discuss. What do you see? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. As for your questions, I think uh, it's out of this theory, but uh, yeah, it's uh, related to that. Uh, yeah, we use the same keyword cognitive, but uh, it's related to the cognitive load. Cognitive. Uh, yeah, for the for the audience, they cannot uh, do many things. It's uh, yeah, especially for us Japanese. We are, we need to very, very hard concentrate so much to understand English presentations. So many information, if many information comes together, uh, we feel difficulties to understand uh, your presentations. So in that sense, you should focus on the uh, pictures, uh, one, just one picture or yeah, as you, the Gary uh, explained, yeah, we the, to be concise, to be simple is very important. Okay, thank you. Yeah, go on, please. And I'd like to also share about OECD Learning Compass 2030. Have you ever seen this picture? Can you raise your hand? I have no. <laughs> Not the, no. <laughs> First, we yeah. explain OECD. <laughs> ah, OECD, what, what's the abbreviation? The very famous, oh, Professor uh, Teacher Kimizuka knows about education 2030. Thank you, Kimizuka Sensei. And OECD is an uh, international organization, very, very famous international organization, organization for what? Obasi economy. Uh, no, economy, Develop cooperation and development, maybe uh, something like that. <laughs> OECD is famous enough. <laughs> like I and, uh, yeah, it's also host to uh, pizza, pizza, P pizza, uh, pro pizza, or some says pizza program for international students assessment, pizza. It hosts the they are to compare or to see about our future of education, and they also propose the OECD Learning Compass 2030. And here the word is a little small, but around this part, uh, can you see the mouse castle too? Yeah, yeah, we can. Uh, yeah, yeah. The these three. Uh, key competencies. Uh, it's the uh, future future necessary necessary skills for us. And one is creating new value here. And the second one, reconciling tensions and dilemmas. So, hmm, I understand this one is overcoming difficulties or conflicts. And third one is taking responsibility. Not only academic skills, this kind of generic skills are considered to be very important recently. 
and OECD propose uh, getting, acquiring this, these kind of skills are really important for our future. So, yeah, in my understanding, uh, the, these kinds of skills we can get, we can acquire through our practice, not learning on the desk. So I believe the World Youth Meeting is really precious opportunities uh, to experience uh, in which uh, it's necessary to, to use these kind of skills. Through the World Youth Meeting, yeah, fortunately or unfortunately, you will soon face dilemma or you need to have conflicts with your partners, with your Japanese students and because of cultural difference. But it's also a very, very important source of our learning, I believe. So even if you have difficulties until the world is meeting, yeah, please enjoy. And uh, yeah, I, I hope you will even enjoy such kind of dilemmas or conflicts. Okay, that's all what yeah. I want to deliver. Uh, thanks so much, yeah. And uh, any question or uh, may I have your uh, opinion or feedback or okay, uh, I'll ask the a student from the Wenzhou University. Hello. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Please. Uh, hi. Yeah, please. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Really. Yeah. Thank you. Very difficult question. So, have you ever <laughs> heard about the OECD or uh, uh, the cultural conflict? Mm, but, no. And <laughs> and uh, uh, resilience. 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 It's a very good opportunity while overcoming that uh, they can have a good ability to negotiate. Yeah, that experience uh, should be the base of the internationally minded person. Yeah. Okay, no comments. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, okay. Thanks so much yeah, for this issue, uh, relatively big. But uh, would you please back uh, to page one? And the uh, community of inquiry is uh, one of the very important issues for the people who want to work internationally, or to work internationally. So, yeah. So especially cognitive presence, uh, when you... Uh, uh, it, when you try to improve your group presentation, uh, when you start discuss, please prepare uh, something a uh, very effective one, like a picture, which picture, which sheet is better for you, or like that, showing something and discuss and proceed to complete the, your presentation. Uh, I'd like to say that, okay? The image of the uh, image of the some uh, certain thing is differ country to country, yeah. So today we have a very good sample from the uh, Gary's uh, presentation. Uh, we can understand so uh, enjoying concrete presentation. What is the good presentation? Okay, okay. Thank you. But this cognitive load theory, thanks so much. May I have a further inf introduction, Professor? Uh, no, just the uh, yeah, support evidence to be concise and simple. Okay, thank you. And uh, there is a newcomer, Keller. Okay, thanks so much. 
I'd like to share my screen. Thank you. Okay, uh, we will uh, close this session soon. But before that, uh, this one. And uh, today, uh, we'd like to talk about our uh, symposium or interactive session. Okay, uh, I'd like to explain uh, by using the concrete uh, example, concrete example, and uh, by talking that uh, Che, uh, Miss Che, hello, Anyo Hashimunika. Yes. Kon konnichiwa. <laughs> <laughs> and Che, uh, you, you all are required to do the presentation with Japanese students, focusing on the, some world peace or SDGs. Okay, please show concre concrete example. But uh, uh, besides that, uh, Every participant are required to do a, a enjoyable session. Uh, like the, the so that's the, to introduce your country to Japanese and other countries participant. For example, uh, and in case of Korea, South Korea, we expect you will talk about the. Uh, how to overcome the low birth rate in your country, or uh, what kind of Japanese uh, electricists, electric uh, uh, equipment are famous in your country, or how what's the future of the Korean and uh, Korea and Japanese uh, relation, or uh, everything will be okay. The a decent uh, Korean group, I'm sure, young group, how they train to be the big star or something. Everything will be okay. So would you please pick up the something interest about your country to the audience. You got it? Mm. In my understanding, I should introduce about some Korean. Yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> and... uh... so, yeah, we are very interesting in the why a co Korean uh, singer group. Yes. Are so good at dancing or, <laughs> or they are very good at speaking Japanese or English. How do they train their language skill or something? Who mm -hmm. produced that? What's the merit of your country? Um, Maybe in Korea, education is... Uh, is with um, okay, okay. Is, yeah, like that. So we will give you the free free talk session. Yes. At, at twenty minutes. Yes. So, and of course, uh, some uh, coordinator there, and <laughs> uh, so they ask the question you and you answer. But uh, I hope you will prepare some picture. Oh, these are Japanese are electricists, uh, uh, Sony or Toyota, Toyota, not Toyota, it's a car, <laughs> or, or some other Zojirushi. Have you ever heard about Zojirushi? It's a uh, <laughs> another name. So the what kind of the cooking tool or cooking electric tool is famous? Why? Or something? Have you ever heard about the Han Hanryu Hanryu Hanguk Hanryu drama? Drama. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Why? Uh, it, it became very famous or something. Okay. Anyway, the point is to feel uh, something a uh, friendship to your country. It's a point. Okay. Yes. Oh, I wanted to be. Uh, 
the same uh, okay in case of the uh up yes okay uh U up mean the university of philippines okay move to the philippines so uh uh alex alex so i hope you will prepare such a session okay okay for example our uh yeah and what's the famous or uh, everything okay for example uh the after having a, a, some data from the your university your university the specific university who can uh, give the suggestion to the government sometime is it right can you repeat again oh, the question your university of a student union yeah. Sometimes give the suggestion to the your government. Uh yes. Uh sometimes there is a youth agenda that we can um appeal or petition with the yeah. government. It's a very, very new thing for us uh Asian people. Yes. Yeah. Talk about that or your uh and also the uh the talk about the history of the japanese relatives and uh, uh, bilateral relation two countries relation and and the future of philippines and your country okay that okay. Uh, that's uh, one of the very interesting story for the other asian country but uh, it's amazing for me uh, to hear that uh, students give a lot of the suggestion to the government. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Because uh, we are the future of the country. We oh, will yeah. live for yeah. Yeah, the loss that they make today. Uh, so such attitude, some country are uh, uh, not welcome to talk the political issue the, among adults, yeah. Anyway, so the as an introduction of your country and the younger generation, so I hope you will talk as uh, some uh, session, okay, like that, yeah. Anyway, the world youth meeting is a place to understand and build up the to start uh, loving your country, okay. Uh, you are ambassador. Okay, try. And Che, you can play the bass guitar if you want. Okay. Okay, thanks so much. And uh, uh, Chok, Sren Chok. Yes, Professor. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Continuously, yeah. And uh, we also ask the uh, and the mom, uh, and we also ask the uh, such a thing, especially, and as a symposium. So we ask that each of you, the uh, the government policy, what kind of the your government handling the world of peace. Yeah, I will ask you, and you explain your government policy, and the students as the venue uh, will uh, you understand your government uh, policy, and lastly they uh, compare uh, after while comparing the each country's uh, government policy, uh, the deep understanding. Okay, policy is differ country to uh, country there. Yes. Okay, like that. So I hope you will talk about that from China also. Yeah. Yes, Professor. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much. So the, is there any question or suggestion or... And uh, I have, I'd like to introduce uh, Professor Yoshida is the one of the member of the... Uh, and what is meeting steering committee advisor? Yeah. Hello. Can you hear? Yeah. Yoshida say now your group or 
making a presentation with the students from Bat 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 Tambon, right? Uh -huh. Cambodia. Yeah. How yeah. Uh, how was that? Please explain your preparation. Oh, I we will have a meeting at uh, one o'clock this afternoon. Ah, today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So wait, I am just uh, preparing some uh, 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 strategies and uh, <clears throat> uh, a good presentation we are going to make. Uh, and uh, I have a question about the uh, Philippines. May I ask something about Philippine people? Yeah, yes, yes, yeah. Okay, Jose Rizal. I, do, I know Jose Rizal, and he mastered 16 languages uh, fluently. Do you know anything about that? His, uh, uh, intelligence and uh, about language. Jose Rizal, everybody knows in, in the Philippines. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's so intelligent and 16 languages he mastered in Europe. I'm wondering how he studied those uh, fluent 16 languages. Who, who are you talking now? Jose Rizal. Uh, there are uh, Rizal. statues. Rizal. Rizal, yeah. Rizal, famous uh, person? Yeah, a hero uh, of the Philippines. Uh, you can see the statue in uh, Manila. Yeah. Manila. Wow. Yeah, he, he was hit by, he was assassinated. And uh, you can see his uh, statues everywhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, he, he can speak, he can handle the six languages? 16. 16? 16. 16 languages, yeah. Wow. So I'm wondering how. He master. Uh, uh, I asked uh, Alex, do you know? Um, I have like somewhat of a guess um, because uh -huh. um, he lived during the time of the Spanish occupation uh -huh. here uh -huh. in the Philippines. Uh -huh. So, of course, along with um, Filipino, so that's already one language, uh -huh. um, the primary medium of instruction in the universities. Um, then uh -huh. was Spanish. So uh -huh. that's already uh, two languages. Yeah. And then he also went to Europe. Um, yeah. He went to different countries in Europe. Um, mm -hmm. And so I think there, um, when he was going around Europe, he also picked up some of the languages there. Uh -huh. um, that's why he has a lot of languages that he knows how to speak. Oh, I see. 